I, I should say that um, my my viewpoint on uh, collaboration and solutions for collaborations uh, is different in the sense that um, my background is in history and anthropology. Yeah, I know and, that. right, and so. I look at this very much as a human issue, and that's why I, I agree with the the idea that vendors. One of the things that I don't see a lot of people selling is the idea that organizations are change management and and uh, change design within organizations is going to be the single biggest, in my mind, anyway, the single biggest challenge uh, to collaboration going forward. We've reached a point where I think with the technology where uh, if, if there's a if there's a technical issue um, for something and we don't have a solution today, then things are proceeding fast enough such that we could wait a couple of days and someone will have a product for us. Hmm. Um, it, this, this call is a great example. Uh, you know, I'm essentially calling your computer from my phone, but not using my phone as a phone, right? Um, I I was on a flight out to San Francisco from Washington, and uh, it was a Virgin America flight, so we had Wi-Fi. And uh, there was a lady sitting in the window seat. And she had her son in between us. He was about six. And uh, she brought up her laptop and made a Skype video call to her mom, his grandmother, in California uh, during the flight. And I kind of watched as, as you have to when you're sitting next to somebody. And afterwards, when she shut the laptop, I said, you know, does it strike you that that's the six-year-old's baseline for, for being able to work with someone and talk with them, that I can make a video call on a free piece of software from an airplane, you know, 35,000 feet up. So for me, the, the issue is never about uh, technology. The issue is about can we adjust our organizations uh, sufficiently to make use of the technology that we have. 